Right, so you're, you're feeling a little stimulation and you might feel something twitch in your finger. Scientists at Birmingham University researching the traumatic effect that serious head injuries can have on a sportsman's brain. They're working on a test that will tell doctors within 10 minutes whether a player has suffered brain damage. We have uh, uh, psychomotor type tests, we have wordplay type tests, but these are all things that, that players can learn to deal with, they can learn to cheat essentially. So what we are trying to do is develop objective tests that can be used hopefully pitch side. It would have been useful at the weekend when Tottenham goalkeeper Hugo Lloris became the latest sportsman to feel the impact. After being knocked out, the Frenchman defied medical advice and played on. According to the football authorities, that was wrong, and experts say he was risking serious long-term injury. The graveyard is full of people who said, I'm fine, I'm OK, I don't need to be checked out. And sadly, um, things can deteriorate with a head injury very rapidly, and it can lead to, to death or lifelong disability. Why would you take a risk? So the scar goes all the way across the front here. The dangers of ignoring a head injury are all too clear to James Lambie. He needed life-saving surgery after two blows in an amateur game. The first knock created some swelling and some bleeding. As the bleeding started to subside, I then received my second knock, which reopened up the tear. So I carried on bleeding. So basically, my, not only was my brain swelling up and crushing inside my skull, but the blood inside was uh, restricting space even more so. They ended up performing a craniotomy, which is where they removed a section of my skull, uh, put it into my abdomen for, well, basically to keep it sterile, uh, stitched me back up and left me with half a head for about two and a half months. Loris was luckier and has been given the all clear following a scan. The authorities will hope that in future, players and their clubs use their brains rather than risk them.